All right, everybody, what you're going to need is your Windows computer. You're also going to need a blank SD card. As you can see, I already have an SD card in here. Make sure that it's an SDHC card. If it's an older SD card, it's not going to work. It has to be an SDHC card. All right. What you're going to do is go to the link that I provide in the description of this video. It's going to take you to this page right here. Index of install Microsoft firmware Q3, Q3 Wi-Fi patch for pre-release units, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to save link as. And I'm going to save that directly to my SD card. So you got this little file organizer here. If you find your SD card, mine, go ahead and save it. So, after the file has downloaded, uh, you'll see it here in your SD card. Now, what we're going to want to do is, again, right-click this, and we're going to say Extract Here. All right, so we've finished extracting the files. The only thing we got to do now is grab this original folder, the one that says Matricom Q3 Wi-Fi patch zip, and just delete that. So you should have 20 items on this SD card right now. So the next step is going to be to go ahead and stick the uh, SD card into the box and do a toothpick reset. Let me show you how to do that right now. Alright, so in order for this to work, you're going to need a few different things. Uh, number one thing you're going to need is a G-Box Q3. Otherwise, you uh, don't really need to be watching this video. Uh, you're going to need the power cable. You're going to have to add power to the unit. You're going to need your HDMI because we're going to have to be able to see what's on the screen. You're going to need the SD card, which we've already gone through the process. And by this point in the video, you should already have the files that you need on that video. And uh, you're going to need either you know, anything metal or, or, or a toothpick or whatever it is that you could stick down in the reset port of the, of the G-Box Q3. So picking the unit up, you're going to see here in the back uh, that we have, uh, you know, our, uh, our USBs, we have our, uh, our Ethernet port, we have our HDMI, and uh, we have the two, if you turn the box on the side, you're going to see the USB, or excuse me, if you turn the box on the side, you're going to see the SD card slot. So first thing you're going to do is take the SD card that we've added the firmware to, and you're going to stick that in the box. All right. So next step will be to add the HDMI to the unit. This is where things get tricky. You got to take your pin or your toothpick or your paper clip or whatever you found and stick it down in the reset port, right? When you stick it in there, you should hear a soft click. I don't know if you can hear that or not. So what you want to do is hold it down. Continue to apply pressure and then take the power and add the power to the unit. You're going to hold the button until you uh, see the Matricom splash screen on the screen. So, let me show you what that looks like.
After rebooting the system, go ahead and run through the Matricom wizard to set up your unit. And that's it. Definitely hope that this video helped. Don't forget to subscribe if you have any questions. Don't forget to comment below. And uh, as always, we appreciate you watching. Have a great day.